My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the new Engagement Analytics Dashboard available in the Fall 2024 release of Adobe Connect. I'm here on my Adobe Connect homepage, where I've got access to all of the rooms I've used recently. I'm going to look at this Mastering Blackjack room and click on the reports for this particular room. And that takes me to the Reports tab. I'm going to click on by sessions and because this room is persistent i've got reports for each of the different times i've used the room i'm going to pick one of the earlier sessions here and there's a new option to go to dashboard if you're familiar with the event engagement dashboard this will look very familiar but this new dashboard is available for all room types it's not just for events that have been scheduled but it is available for any meeting room any virtual classroom and any seminar room regardless of whether they're associated with an event this will be available for all of your sessions and here we're looking at the session summary. This gives me some information about my session, the name of the session, the number of the session. I can see when it happened, who the hosts in the room were. I can see how many attendees we had, the duration of the session, and the average attendee duration during that time. I've also got quick access to the recording here. I can click play to start watching the recording. I've got the ability to download the MP4 version of the recording. And I can even see information about who's watched the recording, how many total views has it had, how many people both joined the live session and watched the recording, and I'm able to download that as a list. In fact, you'll see a download button on every one of these pages. These can all be downloaded as separate reports or together. I can see here the average watch duration. And now we can get into the real value of this report by clicking on the engagement tab. And this gives me some insight into how engaging the session was. At the top, I can see the engagement level. How many attendees did we have? How many of those were highly engaged, moderately engaged, or maybe rarely engaged? If this is a virtual classroom, these may be people that need some extra attention. Below that, I can see the engagement over time. And this shows me the average engagement score with this pink line chart. Below that, I can see the attendance over time. And below that, I can see all of the different layout changes that were made during the session. And this gives me essentially a minute by minute replay of everything that happened during the session and how it affected the engagement level in that session. So for example, I can see here, I'm starting to lose quite a bit of engagement. It's gone from a high as we got started down to close to 50%. And I can see the reason for that is I'm spending a lot of time on slides. As I move to my poll, engagement goes way up. So this gives me some insight into how I can optimize my future sessions, what's driving higher levels of engagement during my session. And I can view any of these instants in the recording simply by clicking view instant in recording to go directly to that part of the recording where engagement was maybe high or low, whatever I'd like. Below the engagement over time, we've got some summary information about the interactions that happened during my session. Interactions tend to drive engagement higher. That's how we're measuring engagement in Adobe Connect. So I can see how many of my attendees answered at least one poll question, how many asked a question using the Q&A pod, how many of them clicked a link that we made available in a web links pod or downloaded at least one file that we made available in a files pod. I can get more depth on all of these by clicking on interactions. And this gives me a breakdown first of all of the polls that we had during the session. Here is a multiple choice poll, and I can see the answer distribution for that multiple choice poll. You can see we got four responses. This is the distribution of those responses. For something like a short answer poll where people could type in their own values, I can see a summary here of the top five or six responses. If I wanna see all responses, I can open those up in its own modal window to navigate all of those. I can see all of the different polls that we had during this session. There were six different polls. They're all available for me here on this screen. And of course, I can download them as a CSV file for a poll report. 
It's not just polls, though, that we used for interaction. We also had a quiz during this session. And so I've got access to all of my quiz data here as well. I can see how many participants participated in the quiz. Not everybody did. I can see how many quizzes were submitted. I can get more detail into the quiz results. I can see a, see a list of questions. I can see a list of this by question to see how each of the individuals answered each of my questions. If I want to see this more by my participants, I can look at the leaderboard and I can drill down on any of my participants to get real insight into how they performed on this quiz, looking at each of their individual answers. Here I'm looking at Lisa, but I can go from attendee to attendee to get as much detail as I need about my quizzes in my sessions. And if I had more than one quiz, that would also show up here in the quiz section. So polls and quizzes are available here, but we've also got a section on other interactions. Here I can see how many questions were asked, how many people asked questions, how many people asked more than one question. That might help me understand who was most engaged in the session. If we had files available for download, we can see how many of those files were downloaded and how often. I can see how many web links were clicked, if web links were made available, we can see how people reacted during the session, if they set their status to agree or disagree, or if they chose to applaud, a laugh, like, heart, surprise, any of the reactions are all available here, including the new raise hand uh, action inside of Adobe Connect. And I can also look at breakout activity if the session included breakouts. Next up, we can see all of this by attendee. I can see a complete list here of all of the attendees in my session. If they came in as users, we'll see not only their name, but also their email address. And next to their name and email address, we can see their engagement level. And we can sort on engagement level here to see the highest or lowest engaged attendees at the top of the list. And I can also see all of the actions that were taken right here in this summary. Duration attended, polls answered, files downloaded, links clicked, questions asked, quizzes attempted. It's available here. We've got even more detail in the attendee activity report that you can download as a CSV file. So a lot of different reports obviously that are available as a download. And so we've also created a download reports hub where you can just come and download each of these different reports, either individually or as an entire group. I can download everything at once as a zip package. And you can see these reports have different extensions, different file types based on the type of report. If it's something like a dashboard, we'll make it available as a PDF file. If you need the details and may want to manipulate that data in a spreadsheet application, then it will be available as a CSV file that you can continue to manipulate. That's a quick look at the new Engagement Analytics Dashboard introduced in Adobe Connect 12.8. Thanks so much for your time.